Hello everybody! Welcome to CampClush.com. I'm Teacher Angel and I'll be your teacher today in the NTEZ's Dictionary of Everyday American English Expressions. I hope you're ready to study with me. Thank you for watching. Alright, so before we start, I want you to get your notebook and pen so that you can write all the new expressions that we're going to learn today, okay? <laughs> I hope that you can practice together with me while I'm reading the sentences. You can follow me, alright? So you can enunciate the words well, okay? There's always a room for improvement, so start now, alright? Now, in this video, we're going to talk about several topics and, of course, several pointers. And we'll start with 528. That is pointer 528, and it's all about describing a lack of work experience. How to describe someone who has um, not enough work experience, okay? Or someone who lacks of work experience or who lacks work experience, okay? Let's start now. You haven't had much experience. You haven't had much experience in this line of work, okay? You can say, you haven't had much experience. Or you can also say, you haven't had much experience in this line of work. You are still a little new to all this. You are still a little new to all of this. You're still young or you're still new. Again, you're still young or you're still new. You're a little green. You're a little green. You're a little green. It means you're fresh to the job. Okay? <laughs> all right. You're still wet behind the ears. You're still wet behind the ears. This one is an idiomatic expression, okay? Again, you're still wet behind the ears. This idiom means, mm, it's like uh, wet behind uh, the ears means very young or inexperienced, okay? Next, you'll catch on. Again, you'll catch on. You'll catch on. You'll catch on. Give it time. Give it time. Give it time. Okay. Next pointer that is 529, and it's all about expressions concerning an easy task or employment position. Okay. If you think uh, the position you have in the company is kind of easy, then these are the expressions you can use. Okay. Oh. I can do that. Okay, I can do that if you think the the thing is very easy to do. Okay? I can do that. Or you can say no sweat. No sweat. No sweat means not difficult. Okay? Or just simply say, oh, it's simple. Again, simple. Simple. Okay? Next, we'll go to another set. Simplicity itself. Simplicity itself. Simplicity itself. Nothing to it. Nothing to it. Nothing to it. It's a piece of cake. It's a piece of cake. It's a piece of cake. It's easy as pie. It's easy as pie. It's easy as pie. It's easy as ABC. It's easy as ABC. It's easy as ABC. It's second nature. It's second nature. It's second nature. It's like breathing. It's like breathing. It's like breathing. It's as easy as falling off a log. It's as easy as falling off a log. Let's read it faster this time. It's as easy as falling off a log. It's water off a duck's back. It's water off a duck's back. Again, it's water off a dog's back. It's like taking candy from a baby. It's like taking candy from a baby. It's like taking candy from a baby. 
I could do that with my eyes closed. I could do that with my eyes closed. I could do that with my eyes closed. I could do that with one arm tied behind my back. I could do that with one arm tied behind my back. I could do that with one arm tied behind my back. I could do that standing on my head. I could do that standing on my head. I could do that standing on my head. I could do that in my sleep. I could do that in my sleep. Okay, so those are the expressions for our two pointers today. Now,、um, in our next video, we're going to discuss pointer 530, and that's about expressions,、um, making claims about your competence and ability. Okay, expressions you can use whenever you want to claim about your competence and ability. Okay? So, again, thank you for watching this video and for joining me in our class today. You did very good. Just keep on practicing. All right? Again, I'm Teacher Angel, and I do invite you to join me next time. Or if you want to practice more and learn more, you're free to enroll in our class. Just log on to www.camglish.com and find the customer service. Hotline and try to call it, and you are going to, of course, have the chance to be better in English. Okay? Thank you for watching. Goodbye, and have a nice day.